Di atin ito coalition. The group is currently on their way to Panatag Show for their second civilian mission. Yes, Angel? That's right. And uh, before this, they slammed a video of Chinese journalists claiming their mission is funded by the U.S. government. Here's a report. The Philippines plans to stage a conflict near Huangyan Island in the coming days, orchestrated by Atinito, an NGO funded by the American and Philippine governments. Their goal? To film Chinese ships pushing them out. This is what a Chinese journalist from a group called Median Lock claimed in this now viral video. In this supposedly exclusive report, these journalists say that Adinito Coalition is funded by the Philippine and the American government. Their second civilian mission to Panatag Shoal was intended to trigger China. To provoke a response, either with water cannons or warnings. It's all staged for the cameras, aiming to capture global attention. Adinito convener Rafaela David called this fake news. Yan naman yung ating mga kapitbahay na nagkakalat ng misinformation, disinformation. Ginagaslight tayo uh, doon sa kwento. Uh, klaro naman sa atin kung sino ang nangharas, sino ang nag-water cannon, sino ang nagmimilitarize ng ating West Philippine Sea. At napakahalaga na tayong mga uh, Pilipino ay hindi tayo magpapadala doon sa mga ganong fake news. The Philippine Coast Guard also denied the reports that the government is funding the coalition. Itong uh, initiative na to ng atin ito is actually their own uh, voluntary activity. No? Klinano nila to on their own. Mm -hmm. And this is not actually sanctioned by the Coast Guard or the National Task Force West Philippine Sea. The coalition stressed their mission to Panatag Shoal is legitimate and they only want to distribute food and gasoline to Filipino fishermen there. They also emphasized their peaceful intention with their mission. Hindi po natin balak makipagpatintero sa mga Chinese vessels at kung sakali man po ay uh, alip sabihin natin magbago ng onti yung ating uh, itinerary at ang ating ruta, basta po ma-achieve natin yung tatlong mission na yon Success po tayo. Atin ito is currently on their way to Panatag Shoal. With them are 200 volunteers and fishermen boarded in five commercial fishing vessel and 100 small boats. The PCG and Philippine Navy also deployed vessels to guard the civilian convoy. Authorities reported that around 37 vessels are currently in Bajo de Basinloc. Reporting for News 5, Elaine Fulhensho, We Are One News. Now, if you look Hi. at the statements of this coalition, uh, they're basing their uh, logistics and the way they're going to approach this from the last voyage. Yes. Ng blockade uh, yes. from the Chinese Navy. Mm -hmm. So this time around, their uh, plan nila is to, uh, if they see the blockade, they will distance themselves from that blockade mm -hmm. and they will uh, uh, find a way to just distribute the food from a farther uh, point sa, sa mission nila. Mm -hmm. Diba? Kasi at all costs daw, iiwas sila. Oh, so, oh yun ang ano naman nila. Kasi ang, oh, oh. the main goal of this uh, regatta, diba? yung kanilang uh, si mission dyan, is the humanitarian reason. And of course, to tell people, to ano, assert yung ngayong, uh, freedom of navigation, and of course, yung uh, kalayaan ng mga mangisda natin o bilang mga civilian na pumunta doon sa ating teritoryo. Naglalagay sila ng markers, diba? Yes. So, to show that uh, this is ours, mm -hmm. uh, mamarkahan nila. Mm -hmm. Napanood mo ba yun? Yun, yung one? yung sa sa Chinese ah, yeah, sa oh, media oh, oh, oh. na sinasabi nga nila na this is going to be staged uh, uh, we're going to event. stage a, a water can pag, or yung may malalaglag oh, daw we're going to stage a pag water cannon natin which will be supposedly be caught daw on camera mm -hmm. to show the world na kawawa daw tayo mm -hmm. oh, we're staging it daw oh. oh, we're water cannoning ourselves <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, Ay, meron nga ang oh. kasama dyan, sasama sa... Ayan yung video, sa, oh, ayan yung video. Oh, sasama dyan sa atin ito, coalition, oh. uh, yung paglalayag nila dyan. Today, no, kasi kagabi nag-prepare na sila, yeah. sasama dyan na uh, mangingisda, na very excited. Uh, actually, he, he used to fish hmm. 10 years ago doon sa West Philippine Sea. But because of what's happening, etc., parang tinigil na niya yan. No? So ngayon, babalik siya doon with all ano, uh, high hopes, di ba? Yeah. Na makatulong siya doon sa iba pang mga mangingisda dyan. Yeah, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, a hundred, a hundred uh, bankas, motor bankas with fishermen are going to join the convoy. Uh, and the boat with the media and other people ay yung, uh, yung contingent around 150 so around 250 uh, people ang pupunta. Mm -hmm. Pero ang maganda, ang maganda tignan dyan yung regatay kasi that's a hundred motor bankas oh, together. Oh. Diba? It's nice to see something like that uh, yung mga Pinoy are in unison. 
to yes. fight for our, our rights natin. Yes. Eh, sana uh, lang talaga, walang mangyaring masama. Of course, diba? that's all. Yeah, successful oh. yung mission nila. And uh, this will clearly state lang talaga na uh, yung freedom of navigation saka, and kalayaan natin, na maglayag ng mga civilian doon. Kung ayaw natin ng gulo, the mere fact that we're sending our fishermen there uh -huh. so it goes to show that we just want to access to to what's What's, uh, what's ours, di ba? Eh, simple lang naman. Yung eh. mga ibang fishermen na kinikwento mo, hindi na nakakapangisda uh, doon eh. Mm. Pero 10 years ago, pwede pa naman. Oo. Okay. Ayun. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, uh, pray for the success yeah, mission. Yeah, pray for today. them. Okay. So, doon yung kasama natin, si Gretchen Ho. Hopefully, we can talk to her. Siguro tomorrow na. Kasi wala tayong oras ngayon. Yeah, <laughs> oo. Tsaka yung signal ata nila, medyo mahirap. Yes. Yeah, oh.